Well, we are going to be looking at the potential of some strong and severe storms across our area as we head through tomorrow. Main threat is going to be some damaging wind gusts, is not only just down here at the ground, but on the upper levels, 10, 12,000 feet up. Some very strong winds that could get mixed down to the ground here, and those storms could have maybe some larger hail associated with them as well. That's tomorrow. Let's enjoy some of that sunshine as we go through this afternoon. Temperatures away from the water into the mid 70s, near 70 along the coast, with a high mid level clouds kind of thinning out periodically here but you see there's a lot more further off to the west that are going to be headed our way. You've even seen some of that moisture moving up along the coast. Uh, this band coming through, say, Greensboro now. I can't roll out that doesn't hold together and give us maybe north of Highway 264. A few spotty showers later this afternoon. Those wind speeds anywhere between about uh, 10 to 20, and we've already seen some gusts 25 to 30. And it'll be even stronger as we head on in through the day tomorrow. So if you've got any uh, loose chairs or decking or anything of that nature or even potted plants that you've put out, you may want to bring them in because it may uh, end up in the neighbor's yard as we go through tomorrow. South southwesterly winds helping to boost those uh, warm temperatures out there. Here we are tomorrow afternoon just ahead of that line of showers and storms, and we've got those winds in excess of 25 to 35 miles an hour, some gust up to 45, and then that slides on through. You'll notice how those winds change direction, and we do see the uh, winds starting to die down as we go through the day on Sunday. So wind advisory has been issued uh, for the area. That goes all the way through until the uh, early morning hours on Sunday. So we do have that wind advisory now in effect for tomorrow. Temperatures today topping out into the mid 70s. So a couple more degrees than where we are right now with that filtered sunshine. Again, I think the clouds kind of thicken up a little bit more. 60s overnight tonight. This is close to our average highs this time of year as we are seeing that surge of warm, humid air out ahead of the front. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, the central mid Mississippi Valley. That's going to be where the greatest potential of severe weather is going to be today. That system weakens, but eventually starts to shift eastbound as we do head on in through tomorrow afternoon. Now you will notice the showers and storms kind of ahead of the front and this model isn't overly impressed about our chance of showers and storms. So uh, stay tuned to Grant Carlson. He'll keep you updated as to whether this is a trend in the models or just an anomaly. Either way, though, the front slides on through. We bring in colder air on the back side of it and we'll see uh, kind of a repeat on Sunday. What we saw yesterday, lots of sunshine, low humidity and slightly cooler temperatures. Notice that we do warm those temperatures right back up. And on Thursday, down east wood ducks, it's home opener against Kannapolis with the temperatures in the 80s by then.